hello everyone welcome back on my channel today we'll see one new real time project on unicorn companies analysis so let's understand the data set first i will explain whole things how the live project work on the corporate level so you can have the understanding of these things in this video and i will give you one tip at the end of the video regarding the parameters the different calculation for dynamic title switching by using the parameters so watch this video till end so that you can have that understanding of that dynamic title in parameter okay so we'll understand the data set first in this data set we have different companies present the company's name then the valuation of that company then the joining date industry city country continent and the foundation year funding of that particular company and the investors okay so i have did some transformations for this valuation column so here this valuation column data type is in the text but i need it in the numerical form so i just created this column for this dollar symbol and the billion symbol okay these three columns i get after uh, splitting that columns in the power query editor and then i have just uh, so this is my numerical column now and i have just added the currency as a dollar okay so here i have calculated the year also from this joining date by using the format function i have just given the format for the year and calculated the year okay so let's see the dashboard i will explain whole things how i created this dashboard and how how to get insights from this data okay so as per this data we have total 15 industries 1072 companies and the dollar 3711 billion is valuation for whole companies okay as a unicorn okay so these three is this three i'm showing in the card so i have this card visual in the power bi so by using this card visual we just have to show the overall data okay overall value of particular thing and we can filter these values according to anything from this whole dashboard okay so then next I'm showing the unicorn companies by country. So here I'm showing top five unicorn companies by country. So in this uh, chart in United States here, we have more number of companies than the top second uh, country is China, then the India. Okay. So we can get the insights from this chart. Like we have more number of unicorn companies in US. Then in this second visual, this is the donor chart. I have taken it from this visualization pane and here i'm showing the top three continents with highest unicorns so as per this continents in the north america we have the more number of the unicorn companies okay then this top second is asia and then the europe okay then here I'm showing the top investors. So this is the customized visual. This is the custom visual in Power BI. We need to import it from externally. So how to import the custom visuals? I will just show you by clicking on these three dots. We need to click over here, get more visuals. We need to sign up by using our login ID. Then we just say continue and then we will get one new window there we will have so many custom visuals so as per our requirement we need to add that visual and import that visual in the power bi so after importing that visual we will get that visual here and then we can just click over here and get this visual here and uh, then we need to show the particular things by using this field pen okay so here i uh, i have just taken the investors column so as as we have the select investors column in the data set i have just taken the investors column in the category and the valuation value in the values section so i am able to see the top investors from this word cloud chart okay so here we can see this capital is the top investors then second is china then this sequoia then ventures so the in this chart uh, we can say like so wherever the size of that particular word is uh, is more than the others so that is the top investor okay that 
word contains the more value okay and then this is the valuation trained by foundation year so here we have so many years i will just focus on this visual and here we have the data from 1920 to this 2020 okay so in from 1920 to this 1990 we have not that much progressed in this unicorn company's data and valuation but then after this 1990 the curve is like going the trend is like uh, like going more and more like this okay so i have just shown this trend line so from this analytical analytic spin we can just add this trend line from here we can do we can add the uh, average line mean line max line and this all things we can do in the line chart okay so i have just added the trend line so that i can see the trend is going good or not okay then we can say we have this uh, more number of valuation in 2012 okay 2012 year we have the more number of valuation okay and then i have added this chart current year and previous year by continent so for this for showing this thing so in this chart i'm just comparing the current year and previous years growth or we can say the evaluation valuation value as per the current year and previous year okay so in this chart we can see in the north america the current year valuation is dollar 125 and the previous year valuation is dollar 1907 okay so this is the uh, like decreasing by previous year here we can say we have the current year is dollar 41 and the previous year is dollar 462 okay so this in this chart i have used this secondary scale so this value is showing as per the secondary thing and this value is showing as per the first scale so this chart uh, is nothing but this uh, column and the line chart but then i have just added this line as the marker only okay so here this line is disappeared and only i am showing this lines as the previous year so here i have given this legend so that the user can understand which color and which thing is showing what so for adding this visual i have just calculated the current year and previous year valuation like this so you can see it here so i have just uh, added the calculate function and given the valuation value so i have just created this total valuation formula sum of valuation value and here i have added this column and given the filter for this 2022 year okay so this will give me the current year's value and for previous year i have did the i have added the data add function and uh, just exclude the this year so by using this interval minus 1 and the year we can exclude one year and we can go back by one year by using the data add function in dax okay so in this way i have calculated the previous year and current year growth and added that in the chart okay so in the column y axis i have taken the current year measure and the line y axis i have taken the previous years value okay and as per the continent i am able to show that okay and then we can see the parameter how to use parameter in power bi so we have this modeling section here we have this option new parameter by clicking over here we can add this two types of parameters the one is field parameter and second one is the numeric range parameter so i have just added the field parameter for these two things so i will create one another video for showing the para how to create parameters in detail so i will just explain here so i have just created these two parameters company and the industry so here in this visual i am able to show that valuation by industry and the valuation by company okay by using the parameter we can show multiple values in one visual and we can switch among that okay so here in this bar chart i have taken the parameter name in the x axis so that i can see here 
industry and the company names by switching in these two things and i have just added the total valuation measure as a value okay so by clicking over here so now we are able to see the valuation by industry and here fine tech is giving more value then second is internet software and services okay so we can just switch this chart for the company by clicking here so by clicking here i can able to see the company wise valuation so here also we can see we have the byte dance company whose valuation is more than all other companies okay then the second is shane okay so in this way we can create the parameter and show the charts and switching between this multiple visuals by using the parameter so after creating this visual i have just added that visual in this card and then i can able to switch as per the company and the industry okay so in this way i have created the parameter and uh, i am able to switch between the different parameters in the one visual okay so here i have added one i button to give the action for the detailed page information okay so by clicking over here i can go to the next page and i can see the overall detail information regarding this data okay so here by giving this by adding this image icon i have just given the action for the page navigation and added the destination as this second page okay so after clicking uh, control click here i can go to that page and uh, here we can see the detail information we can filter it according to continent according to country according to city company industry and the foundation year so that we can have the data for that particular things and we don't need to search for the things okay so here i have uh, added one table and in this table i have just shown the industry wise funding and the foundation year here i am adding the continent country city company valuation value and this is the bar for that uh, as per that value this bar will give us the and the better understanding of that value okay so in this way i have added the detail page i can go back from this back button i have added this back button also so in this way you can also create the same project by using the same data i will just uh, add this pbix file and the data set in the description so you can take that from there and uh, if you like my video please don't miss to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos thank you for watching this video